Okay, so today we're going to work on a cutting board. So this is what we're going to be making. Cut some strips, put everything together, cut it, sand it, put some mineral oil on it. So you could probably do it in a day if you really wanted to. So, all right, stay tuned. Let's make this thing. This red, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a one inch cut. So let me adjust my fence so I can get my one inch cut. All right. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. That'll work. Well, my joints look good. Let's get some wood glue. Get these glued up. Grab some glue. Big question I usually get is what type of glue to use for these cutting boards and stuff and um, just regular yellow wood glue will work. Um, I try to get the non-toxic water cleanup stuff so you can pretty much get that everywhere. these back in place where they were these being our shortest pieces these two pieces I want to make sure that they're pretty even together that way I can get a full length of my choice. So I'm going to start tightening this first one. As a matter of fact, I'm going to move it this way. It'll be a little easier to... So I can turn these. Make sure these are pushed down in place. 
That one was up a little bit there. Okay. I'm going to start tightening slow, watching for my glue squeeze out. I'm not getting a lot of squeeze out here because I forgot to put glue there. No worries. Okay. There we go. That's why we're watching for that squeeze out. Catch our mistakes. Alright, let's get that back in there. Wipe my hand off here. Get that glue on. Okay. Alright, back to it. Make sure we're down flush. Start tightening up that first middle. Tighten up that first middle uh, clamp. Got some squeeze out, making sure our board stay down flush. And we'll come out here on the edge, get it snug, get it snug on the other side. Tighten up the middle. The middle right now is where we want to start getting our pressure. Got good squeeze out down all the joints. Come back to the edges. I'm gonna tighten these up together. And you don't have to go crazy with the pressure here. You're just looking for that good glue squeeze out. Once we got that good good glue squeeze out, if I can talk, um, then we've got what we need. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my wet rag. Okay, back out here the next day. Should be dry now. Let's go ahead and take this out of the clamps. Okay. All our joints look good. Okay. Now I'm gonna measure our width. So it's 12, we'll do 12. So I'm gonna mark six inches. Now I'm gonna cut here. And I'm gonna cut here. I'll give me 12 inches in width, and then it's going to be right at, right at 11 and a half. And then we'll see how that looks and make changes as we need to. That's about our width. And like I 
I said, these dark colored boards here were the uh, shortest of them, so that's going to be our maximum our length can be. So I'm going to cut them off. And that's our rough dimensions of our cut board there. So now I need to get this over to the planer and get it cleaned up. So to me, this side, the walnut, is narrower than this side. And I can tell by looking at it just that much, 3 16 longer, but to my eye, I can see it. So I'm going to cut that off. So I'm going to make these, all these are the same on each side, same thicknesses. So I'm going to make these the same thickness. So, back to the miter saw, we'll cut that off. Just cut that a little bit off. That looks better to me. I'm going to put a round over on both sides of this. better we'll do some hand sanding on these edges get them cleaned up Alright guys, got her sanded up, feels good, cleaned it off, 
Now, we're just going to take some regular old mineral oil. A paper towel. And we're just going to pour some on here. Put it on kind of thick because it's going to soak into the wood. that soak in a little bit and then we'll put another coat on it okay so we put another coat on mineral oil on it and I think we're looking pretty good so this thing should last for many many years to come all right so we got the cutting board done um, this thing will last forever if you take care of it so um, like you saw me do I put the mineral oil on there and like any cutting board these things are going to get beat up they're going to get little nicks and stuff in them and this is not an ingrain cutting board so we're not going to be doing any heavy chopping on it but it's still going to get some knife marks and stuff like that in it no big deal if you do get those little marks and stuff in it grab your sander hit it knock all those little marks down and then uh, put some mineral oil back on it okay Day-to-day -day use, if you're already using it, basically rinse it off. Don't use no soap on it. Just rinse it off, wipe it down. Um, if it looks like it's getting a little dry, put a little bit of mineral oil on it. Um, once you do wash it by hand, don't ever put this in a dishwasher. <laughs> It'll crack all to pieces. Um, wash it by hand, rinse it off, and stand it up on end to dry. All right, good luck with yours, guys. As always, if you like what you saw and you want to see some more, hit like, subscribe, and we will see you next time for our next project.